There was uh, an air of change for Indian country. We'd been laboring under this termination policy that we all knew was wrong. We wanted to uh, stop that and reverse it. The way to do that was to rely on our treaties. This will mark one of those periods in American history that uh, we started on a new road, which led us to justice of those who were the first Americans. Termination was a cultural, economic, political disaster. Our tribal government was abolished. We have this fishing right. It's a treaty supreme law of the land under their constitution, and we're not going to give up our fishing rights. It went to jail hundreds of times. Not only me, but uh, uh, our other people that's fighting the fight. This is our fishing ground right here. Our salmon come home right here. And Indian law was what it was all about. The problem was we didn't really have uh, very many lawyers. We needed to get innovative. We wanted to choose cases that would have a nationwide impact on the rights of Indian people. That year, in 1973, at the NCAI annual convention, the slogan was, Restoration Now. And so Indian country meant it. We still have many, many needs in Indian country. You often hear that Indians are rich because they have casinos and they don't, they don't have any more legal issues out there. Our existence is under attack. Every day we come to work. If our focus, if our mission is to help protect and preserve the native way of life, what can we do to prepare a government to respond to the needs of native people? What can we do to empower the tribal voices? Opportunity to move and make change Filling it deep inside things we fight for our planes From the Vatican assassins, Jesuit priests Elitists who feast at the table of the mark of the beast Talk about freedom and peace and cease to exist As a free human being because you cease and assist